Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Hooked on Fish. Today I'm just chilling out at my house and uh, you know, all the comments that came in that last video I posted when I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see, the two main comments that came up were Tackle Arsenal Update and uh, Rod and Reel Arsenal video. So today I'm going to be doing my hard baits part one of all my tackle, um, the updated video, and then tomorrow I will have the soft plastic video up and then um, in a couple days, uh, I'll have the Rod and Roll Arsenal video. I got LTB coming. Uh, it shipped yesterday. Today is the 11th, and it shipped on the 10th, so that was yesterday. Um, and uh, that should be coming in the next couple days. So if that gets here before, um, I'll probably do that video before my Rod and Roll Arsenal video. But I have like three to four videos coming out in the next couple days, so you guys will enjoy them. You guys seem to like that unboxing I did last time, so. Um, I'm guessing to keep doing unboxings once I get fishing lures and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Okay, so this is basically all my tackle I have here. I took basically everything out of my fishing room um, and put it here. Um, as you guys can see, there's a lot there. I got two big bins full of soft plastics. Some soft plastics in here, a lot of hard baits. But uh, I'm going to go through everything. Hopefully not going to take too long. Um, but hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so next up what we're going to talk about um, or show you guys is my chatterbait and jig box. Um, the next time I make a big order, I have to order about four main things. And one of those is chatterbaits because I am super low on chatterbaits. I have like five. And, you know, I fish chatterbaits a lot in the summertime. Um, fish them a lot everywhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am low on chatterbaits. But uh, as you guys can see there, those are all... Um, Jigging chatterbaits. Now, you guys saw my last unboxing. Um, you know, I got a lot of jigs, um, tons of jigs actually. I got like six or seven, um, but they're all brand new. They're all gonna work this summer, um, and it's just gonna be awesome. Cannot wait. And uh, but yeah, this is my jig box. And uh, go ahead and get you guys a close up of what it looks like. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, the top row here is nothing but chatterbaits. Um, chartreuse, um, green pumpkin, and black and blue. As you guys can see, I'm really, really low on them. Um, in here, I got black and blue jigs. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this whole row black and blue, this whole row green pumpkin, this whole row chartreuse and white. Um, so, yeah, I got some black and blue jigs in here. Um, this is just some assorted baits that I'll get rid of once I get more jigs. Um, this is just loaded with all the new jigs that I just got. Um, this whole this whole thing here is just loaded with green pumpkin jigs. Those are my favorite kind to throw, but uh, I just got a bunch in here. Um, then here is just one of the new swim baits I got, um, chatterbait stuff I got. These are chatterbait trailers, and uh, here's a U spin down here, underspin. Um, so that is that um, that box there. Let's get into the next one. Okay, so my next box here is the one that I've really been working on this year. It is my crankbait box. I got a bunch of cranks in here. Um, be getting a lot of new cranks. Um, so I'll go ahead and get right into it and show you guys what the cranks look like. So you guys saw the last unboxing, or one of the last unboxings I did um, from Cabela's. I got uh, three red eye shreds here. I'm going to be stocking, like, like the jigs, um, this side is going to be all... Uh, lipless crankbaits. This side's gonna be, you know, like 1.5s, 2.5s, and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, these are the lipless crankbaits, 1.5s, 1.5s, 1.5s. So these are in shad, chartreuse, and uh, like natural bluegill craw color. These are some older uh, rattle traps, but they all work fine. They all serve a purpose. They all catch fish. Um, there's some bigger, like 2.5s, bigger, like 2.0. Um, there's a live target bait in there, um, DT7 and DT10 Rapala baits, um, and here's one of the big 6XD um, crankbaits for uh, deep diving fishing. These are all the smaller craw baits that work in the rivers and small ponds and stuff like that. Same with these. Um, and then right here, these are all the Rapala um, flicker shads. Um, Got uh, five of those in there, so those are going to work in the lake. That's mainly why I bought them, because I need a little deeper diver to, you know, dive in the lake. Um, got some other assorted crankbaits in here. Got some uh, more Strike King baits uh, that dive about six to eight feet. 
Um, so just a little bit more deeper divers. And then some hot and tots here. Um, those are good baits. So that is my crankbait box. Uh, I've really been trying hard to, uh, you know, get this upgraded from all the older style baits to all the newer style baits. And uh, it seems to be working now. Let's get on to the next lure. So as you guys can see, um, a crankbait box is it's coming together. Um, it's not, you know, terrible like it used to be, uh, where every single bait is really, really old. I'm getting all the newer baits, all the new colors, stuff like that. So that's all working. Um, now let's get into the next box here. The next box is labeled buzz baits. If you guys can see that, it's nothing but buzz baits in here. So let's get into showing you guys what I got. Okay guys, so this is my buzz bait box. Um, nothing but buzz baits in here. Um, so we'll start off. We got some older buzz baits here. This side is all the, the 1 8 ounce and 1 16th ounce buzz baits. They all work really well in the rivers, especially for the smallmouth. You know, big buzz baits like this um, can work, but uh, they're just a little bit too big and uh, you get better hookup ratios and stuff with these smaller ones. Um, so we got some, we got three Strike King ones in here, a couple more Strike King, and I've been using the War Eagle a lot. Uh, I got four of these. Um, and uh, these are the War Eagle. These are in like 1 8. And I, got, I think I have like one or two that are in half ounce. Um, but where you go work really, really well. Um, especially for catching big fish. Uh, they really do work well. So that is my buzzbait box. Nothing much to it, just strictly buzzbaits. But uh, that was my buzzbait box. Let's move on to the next lure. So that is my buzzbait box. Um, got a bunch of baits in there. Um, now the next bait box I got is... My top water box. Now I've spent a lot of money on this top water box. You know, getting ready for the year. Um, last year, this year, um, I've been buying a lot of frogs, a lot of spooks, poppers, uh, torpedoes, just different kind of baits. Um, so let's get into showing you guys what I got, and hope you guys like it. Okay, so this is my top water box. Um, it is pretty much full. Um, next year, I'm gonna probably end up needing to get another box strictly for top water. Um, it's crazy how much stuff I have, but uh, like all in here, these are all just spro frogs, spro frog, frogs, spro frogs. Um, the booyah and spro are the ones I mainly use. Um, I use some strike king as well, but uh, all of these things are just stacked up, loaded with frogs, as you guys can see. And same with here. Um, and when the ponds get all weeded, frogs are the main thing to throw. Um, so that's why I use them a ton. These are the uh, Bass Pro Shops $1 poppers. This is a hidden chugger. Um, I got poppers, poppers here. These are some of the smaller ones. Uh, small spooks and a lot of jitterbugs in that, that one. Um, these have lunker hunt frogs. That's what those are. Uh, and a field mouse. Um, then right here we got some walking baits um, and then some other little walking style baits there. A lot of torpedoes in this one, as you guys can see, a lot of torpedoes. These are all hula poppers because I used to use these a ton. Um, I kind of want to start getting back into it. The late evening and early morning, those really, you can get some big fish on hula poppers. And down here are all the spooks. Um, got some smaller ones and as you can see the bigger ones in here, the bigger hidden Zara spooks. As you can see, like the six inch ones. Um, some more poppers, jitterbugs, stuff like that. But uh, these, this box right here, it's taken me a long time to get to this point. But uh, I've spent a lot of hard earned money on it. And um, I've got uh, a lot of baits. Um, and they all work. I use most of them. Um, so that is that box there, the top water box. So that is my top water lures. Um, got a bunch of them, as you guys can see. Now I got a mess that I got to clean up here. That is a top water lure box. Okay guys, so my next bait, you guys saw this in my walleye video, but this is all my walleye tackle. Here I have it in a brand new flame bow box. Um, I'll show you guys this again. Uh, I'm not gonna go super in depth on every single bait, but I'll show you guys this again. Um, if you wanna go check out my walleye video, um, I got a lot of walleye fishing baits in there, a lot of walleye gear that we use. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so these are the shallow divers. Like, they don't dive as deep as these ones. And then these are the deeper divers. Um, these are like all the Rapala Flicker Minnow um, here. They dive They dive pretty darn deep. Um, these right here are some bigger um, walleye fishing lures. The Smith Wicks. Um, 
reef runner in there. Got another reef runner here, and another reef runner with no hooks. Um, these are just some smaller baits. These could work as jerk baits as well. I think all of these could work as jerk baits, um, like this. They could all work as jerk baits. But uh, yeah, that is my walleye arsenal. Um, got a lot of baits in here, but uh, looking to upgrade a bunch this summer. And then we just got some spoons in here for trolling for steelhead. So that's what those are for. Um, so that is that box. Let's move on to the next one. Next box we got here is my spinnerbait box. Haven't made a ton of adjustments to the spinnerbait box, but uh, there's enough in there in case I need to throw them. Um, you know, like early spring into early summer is when I would throw the spinnerbaits. They work well for me. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys what, what my spinnerbait arsenal looks like. So we got the spinnerbaits here. Um, these are like white and black and blue. These are green pumpkin. And then these are like all chartreuse. I have a bunch of chartreuse. Probably too many. Um, then I have a bunch like these that don't have skirts. Um, got a couple newer ones there. And uh, some smaller ones. But uh, as you guys can see, um, not too many. But I have a, uh, you know, I have enough in case I do need to throw them. So... That's that spinner bait box. There's not much to it, but uh, I have enough if I need them. So that is my spinner bait box. Next box I need to upgrade a ton. Next box I need to upgrade a ton is my jerk bait box. Um, there's nothing wrong with the jerk baits in anything. Just a lot of them are really old. Um, I'm starting to get in the hat. Like there's there's basically four main things I need to upgrade. Um, next time I make an order, and that's jerk baits. That is hooks and weights. That is um, uh, chatter baits and spinner baits. That's those are basically the things I need, and then basically I'll be good for like another year to fish. Um, so my next big order that I make on something uh, will be on those four lures and uh, tackle. But let's go ahead and get into my jerk bait box. Like I said, there's not much to it, but there is some. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So here we go. Um, this is my jerk bait box. These are some of the newer ones. Um, this is just some more Rapala, and then same over here. I got an, uh, an X wrap here, and just another um, jerk bait in there. Um, some of these are newer, some of these are older. Don't really mess with these a whole lot. A lot of these are old baits, and same with all of these. These are some more prop baits, top water prop baits. Um, but a lot of these are old jerk baits. I put brand new hooks on literally all of these, and they're all tangled. But uh, these are all these will all work good. Um, but yeah, all these got brand new hooks and stuff on them. So, yeah, that is my jerkbait box. Not much to it. But if I need a jerkbait, I got them in there. Okay, guys, so that was part one of my hard baits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, part two will be coming out very, very soon. I'll probably end up posting that tomorrow. Um, that's going to be strictly on my soft plastics. Um, so this video is a hard baits. Next video will be soft plastics, and then LTB will be coming sometime this week. It actually might come today. I don't know when the mail comes. Um, and then we got um, my Rod and Reel Arsenal video will be coming in the next couple days. So I got some videos planned out. Hope you guys enjoy. We are growing a ton. We're at like 1,751 subs or something like that um, after I just checked. So we're growing good. Thank you guys for sticking with me this winter. Uh, I promise you guys this summer is going to be awesome. And uh, we're going to catch a lot of fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.